All right, so today we're going to be dual booting Windows and Linux using Refine. So let's check it out. Now, dual booting is a feature that allows your computer to boot into multiple operating systems. In our case, it will be Windows 11 and Linux. All right. Now, when it boots, it actually goes into something called a boot manager. And in our case, if you only have Windows installed, it will actually be called WinBoot. And this will allow your computer to boot and then select Windows and then it'll boot into the Windows operating system. Now, in order to boot into multiple operating system, we would have to actually change our boot manager from win using WinBoot to either something called Grub, which comes shipped with Linux, or Refined, which is something we're going to be playing around with. There's other systems that you can use, like SystemD. Or if you want to choose the Mac route, you could use Open Core. So there are multiple ways to perform multi-booting using this boot manager. So this way you'll be able to choose between Windows 11 or Linux or other operating systems that you have like Mac OS. Again, we're only going to be covering Refine this time, which I particularly like. It's very easy to customize and configure. So let's jump into it. All right, so here we go. I am using Ventoy. So if you guys are not familiar with this boot utility, you are allowed to boot from multiple ISOs so you can install anything you want. Now, in my case, the first thing we're going to be installing is Windows 11. So I'm going to jump into here, go into Windows 11, and I'm going to partition the hard drive so we actually have dual operating system running on one hard drive. Now, if you have multiple hard drives, you could skip this step and just install Linux on the second hard drive. But in my case, we're going to do this all in one drive. Now, I have Windows. I'm going to hit Next, Install Now. I accept, hit Next, and then here is what we need to do. We have to customize our Windows installation and delete all the partitions that we have. This way, it has one big flat drive. So in my case, I have an NVMe that is one terabyte and I want to split it into two. Now I have drive zero with all the space. I'm just going to hit new. And from the nine, I'm just going to change this to four and then hit apply. Okay. It's actually going to create all the partitions it needs like the system, which this will hold our EFI partition. I don't know why they reserved this and then our primary. So now we just hit next and Windows will install. Now give or take depending on your computer. 10 minutes or 15 minutes to install Windows, and then we'll just get through this installation real quick. So now we're just gonna get through the entire setup. We're just gonna go through this super quick. Okay, now that everything's booted up, you can run through the install and install drivers if you want, but we're not gonna go through that. We're just gonna skip that whole entire process. Instead, I'm gonna show you what I was talking about with the disk partitioning. So I'm gonna go over to disk, create format and disk. And you can see over here that I have 488 gigabytes un unallocated for our Linux partition. And that's all we need. Now I'm going to reboot the system and install Linux now. And in your case, if you want to finish setting up Windows, it's all up to you. But I am going to reboot the computer. Jump right back into the BIOS by hitting delete or in your case, I have no idea. And I am actually going to go into UEFI, the boot disk, which is our Ventoy. Now in this part, I'm going to be installing Ubuntu 22. You can install any other operating system you want. But in my case, I'm just going to go Ubuntu. It's more default. It's easier to go through. And I'm just going to install it from here. Now, this installation process shouldn't take that long either. Probably a couple of minutes because Linux is a little bit faster to install. So we're just going to go through the standard installation. But I am going to choose something different. So I'm going to go over here, install Ubuntu, continue, continue, normal installation. And then right here, it's going to, I'm going to choose install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. So I'm going to hit install now, continue, and then that's it. I'm going to let the rest install. All right. So now we're done installing Linux. We have to actually go back into the BIOS to boot into Linux. That's because Windows Boot Manager is still at play. And you can see I have to do a boot override. Now, if I do want to change it so it boots right into Ubuntu Grub and I don't want to install anything like Refine, what I can do is go over to boot and you can still see it saying Windows Boot Manager. I would have to actually change this called NVMe Drive BBS Priority and change this over to uh, the top one, boot number one Ubuntu. And then this will automatically always go into Grub. Now I'm going to save and exit on this one, or I could actually just directly choose my boot override. 
which in my case, I guess I'll do. I'm gonna save the configuration. And here we have it. Now, Grub actually allows you to choose between Windows Boot Manager or Ubuntu itself. But you can see it's not pretty. You can theme it, but it's not gonna be as easy as Refine or might not even look as good. So what I'm gonna do is boot into Ubuntu. And here we go. I'm gonna skip this, skip this. No, don't send system info, skip this. I'm gonna force quit that because I don't need it. All right, so I'm gonna go into terminal and do a sudo app update just to grab the latest repositories. All right, and from here, what I'm gonna do is uh, sudo apt install refine. Now this will actually just, it will automatically set up the ESP. So I'm gonna hit yes, it's gonna build that. And we are basically all done. I'm gonna do a reboot on this and go back into our BIOS and refine uh, should come up as a boot manager. Now I'm gonna go back into boot, go to NVMe drive priority, and look, there's refine boot manager. And that's where I wanna go on top. So what I'm gonna do is choose boot option number one, go to refine, and now I could save changes and reset. And I'm gonna let that automatically jump into refine itself. And here we go, refine boot manager. Now you're gonna notice that there's a lot of things here that we actually do not need and we only wanna reveal the things that we want to boot. So this one is the Microsoft EFI boot from EFI partition. We have this one, which is Grub, we don't want this. Uh, this is the fallback for the EFI system, we don't want that either. This one is actually for our uh, 6.5 generic um, boot disk uh, for our Ubuntu, so we wanna keep this. These are actually four Ventoy, so we, don't, we won't see this if I unplug the USB. So I'm gonna keep these here, but what I'm gonna do is highlight the one that I don't want, which is the Grub64, and hit delete. And what it's gonna do is actually just gonna hide it. So do you really wanna hide it? Yes. Same thing goes for here, and yes. Now I am actually gonna unplug the USB, hit escape to refresh, and all you're gonna see is just two of these options. You see that? So now it looks a lot cleaner. Now, if you wanted to show the hidden stuff, you could go over here, manage hidden item tags, and it'll actually show you the hidden item tags that you could reveal again. But in my case, I don't need to do that. And we still need to set this up so we could theme refine. So I'm gonna go back into Ubuntu, go into terminal because we're gonna need to use the terminal. And what I'm gonna Google is actually refined boot manager themes. And you can see that there's a bunch of themes that you can actually choose from. I'm just gonna choose the first one. And let's see. I do like this glassy look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click glassy. All right. And it does give you instructions on what you need to do. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this. Let's see if I have git installed, I don't. So sudo app install git. And I am gonna grab this into my downloads folder. So I'm gonna git clone, grab that. No, I don't need this. And now I should have a folder called Refine Glassy. And in there, I should have all the stuff here. So what I need to do now is actually mount my EFI partition. This is the harder part if you wanna theme it. So my EFI partition is on the first partition of the NVMe. So if I go ls dev NVMe, and I hit tab a couple of times, it should be on this partition. All right, so what I'm gonna do is sudo su, so I'm gonna go into super user mode, mount dev nvme n1p1 to the mount directory, all right? So now we can cd into mount, and you can see there's an EFI system, and there's something called refine in there, a folder called refine, and we have a lot of subdirectories in here. Now what we need to do is make dir, which it says over here, you have to create a directory called themes. So I'm gonna call themes, and I am gonna cp, or actually I could just move it. I'm gonna move the directory slash home, slash don, slash downloads, because that's where I have it, refine, glassy, over to mount, efi, refine, theme. All right, so now everything's moved over. I'm gonna go back into themes folder and you're gonna see that that folder is there. I'm gonna go check the contents out. It's all inside and there's actually a file called theme.config. Now we have to go into refine.config. So I'm gonna nano into refine.config in this folder, the EFI refine.config and just go all the way to the bottom of the 
file and we have to input this include themes like just like this I'm actually just gonna copy this and paste this down here and that's all you have to do now you can change resolution and everything in this file itself you want to change it to 1920 by 1080 change the menu entries if you go back to the top you can change the duration it's 20 seconds right now before it automatically starts you could set it to like three seconds or five seconds but once you're done with that I'm gonna reboot it should bring me to refine and there's the new theme and it looks so much better and again, if you don't like this theme, you can always go in and change it again and select a new one. But now you could choose between Microsoft Windows, you could choose uh, Linux, you restart the computer, and it hides all the other menus that you don't need down here. And say if I want to boot back into Windows, I could just choose Windows, and there we have it. Windows is booting right up. Anyway, that is it guys for dual booting using Refine. And again, I really like Refine because you could easily customize the look of it and change settings that you want. And it works for EFI. Now, if there's another boot manager that you guys use for dual booting, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And that same my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.